Yeah, you've got a lot of dice for that net code. Cancelling. Wow. We seem to cancel a lot, don't we, people? Um, first impressions of Battlefield 4. After a kind of like a honeymoon period of playing it, like straight for so many hours, uh, and just trying to get a lot of unlocks. Um, I think I can love the game eventually, uh, if they iron out quite a lot of these problems. Um, I know that they've sent out like five, I think they're on their sixth server-side patch uh, up to now, which has seemed to have made the game play a lot more stably um, in terms of crashes and things like this. There's been a lot of problems with it, obviously. People have had crashes, I've had crashes, there's been server-side crashes, there's been um, client-side crashes, there's just been a lot of crashes generally. The thing with the netcode as well, like, I, uh, I kind of see where people are coming from with the whole sort of like uh, it being a bad netcode. There's been a lot of complaints about being killed round corners. Um, I have never ever been killed round a corner yet. So I've yet to see this or experience it. But um, in terms of being shot round corners, I'm pretty much fine on that. Um, it's just when I seem to cancel with like every sort of, I don't know, like fifth enemy or something like that. It gets really frustrating and it's kind of like, well... How how are you, how are you supposed to? I don't know. I don't know how they're going to fix it. I don't know how like because I know that there are a lot like eighty percent of the people out there are like moaning about it, going crazy about it, saying, "Oh no, uh, there's something wrong with the netcode. Go out and fix it, dice, please." Um, I really haven't had that much of a problem with it. Like I said, apart from having the odd cancel here and there, which can be frustrating for me, at least. Um, things about the weapons as well. Um, there seems to be. A lot of really, really good weapons in this game. I love the Org 3. The Org A3, for instance. This is the weapon that I'm using at the moment. Um, and this was my second match of the day, so I was a bit rusty. And you'll see a guy saying TBFS hacks in a minute, which is my clan tag. And, yeah, what is it with people? What is it with people that just sort of like to shout about hacks and things like this in games? I mean, this game is like, I don't know, like, what is it? Like, it's like a weak... It's not even a week into its life cycle yet, and people are claiming hacks. And I don't think hackers out there would have got hacks for this yet. I wouldn't have thought so anyway, especially being as like it's a new netcode, like everybody's been, you know, complaining about. Uh, it'd be pretty hard, or it'd take them quite a bit of time just to get the, um, the the code to work with hacks. So, come on, guys, really? Do you really have to call hacks on people that are doing good in the game? Please, don't let your friends call hacks. Just don't. Um, back onto the weapons anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm using the Org A3 and it is a beast up to now. I've seen every single person on this game go through uh, quite a few weapons and I'm not... I don't... I don't think the M16, I don't think the M416 is going to be the competitive weapon of choice or the OP weapon of choice in pub matches. Um, I seem to think it might be a weapon that's not the M416. Just, I don't know what it is, it's just sort of like, I've been playing with the M416, I've unlocked like, uh, everything up to the battle packs on it. So everything that's standard kit out, layout on it. And it's a good gun, but it's not, I don't enjoy using it by any means. It's not a gun that makes me feel like a badass. Like the Org A3, it's got like a slower fire rate, um, from what I can tell it has anyway. I'll have to check the stats for it, and you guys probably can as well from, uh, a few of the stat websites out there that you can check them on. If you're into that, that is. Um, but, yeah, I'm loving the variety of weapons in this game. I mean, I know that there's quite a few weapons returning uh, to Battlefield. And I know that my favourite, well, one of my favourite guns from Battlefield 3 is going to be making a return in the... Metro slash... What, what was that pack called? I don't know. The, the maps that are going to be returning. Uh, the AS Val is going to be making its return in that. And the F2000. And those two were one of my, like, you know, both couple of my favourite weapons from Battlefield 3. Um, I'd be very upset if uh, the competitive side of things say that it has to be a vanilla sort of thing. You, you know, you have to have vanilla weapons to play competitively. Because, I don't know, I can see this game with the netcode, the way it works, being more sort of who can control their gun the best. And I know that Rate of Fire has a, uh, an outcome in that, like a massive factor in that, because obviously if you go at somebody with like a 400 RPM weapon and they come at you with an 800, and they've got exactly the same sort of aim time as you, you're going to lose, uh, especially if they can control that recoil. So, yeah. 
what are your guys' thoughts on the weapon so far? I mean, like, I've been enjoying these weapons. I've been thinking that, uh, I mean, the, the first thing that I said that I was going to do was I was just going to go through all the assault weapons, unlock all them, then go through all the engineer. Uh, I've got two weapons left on the engineer assault class, uh, engineer class, uh, but only because one of them's uh, one that you unlock from the game and one of them's a assignment that you have to do, which is like, I don't know, repair 50 vehicles or get 50 vehicle repair weapons. And it's a bit of a grind. Um, I'm already up to the M1911 for pistols, uh, trying to get my 44 Magnum back on, and when I have that I'll feel complete, most likely. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing with the sniper class, uh, I've not really touched it yet, I've, I think I've played like a couple of rounds with the sniper class, but not enough to really get into that class and unlock all the weapons and see what they have to offer. Um, but I'm enjoying it up to now. I think it's going to be quite a good game. Uh, in terms of flying, I really, really, really am getting into Little Birds. Uh, Fresher has always been into Little Birds, and he's really, really good in them. Uh, and I've been trying to get a bit better at flying. Uh, if It seems as though, because I mean, I was getting better at flying in Battlefield 3, and now that I'm flying in Battlefield 4, it was towards the end of Battlefield 3 that I'd started flying, so I was sort of like, oh yeah, this is wicked. And now that it's Battlefield 4, it's kind of like a drastic change again in learning how to fly in those things. I'm never ever going to be able to fly jets. That is just a, a no-go area for me. It's especially in this game, it seems like they just go too fast. And even if you press back, um, it just doesn't seem to slow the jet down for me anyway. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm very pre-fire. Yeah. Um... So yeah, those are my general thoughts up to now. Sorry I haven't given you a video uh, lately, guys. And the PTFO Squadcast will be back next Sunday. Um, the reason that we didn't do one this week is because there was a couple of people not there. And it would have been probably like boring with just two people or three people. Uh, as you know, it's usually four people with a fifth guest. So, you know, sorry about that. Um, and also, we've obviously been busy getting into Battlefield. And we're trying to get all these unlocks done so that we can kind of give you recommendations onto what we think are the best weapons uh, infantry wise and Fresher will probably go through a couple of things with you guys in terms of how to play with a little bird correctly um, so yeah lots of good things coming towards this channel uh, keep your eyes peeled thanks a lot for watching my name's Chris bye PS this was the shot that got me uh, accused of hacking did you see that that guy was right in my line of sight. And... Where is it? Where's it come? Is it coming? Is it coming? Where's it at? Is it there? Yay! Wall hack! <laughs> okay, bye. Hey, do yourselves a favor and uh, follow me on Twitter. Uh, you can also do yourselves another favor and uh, subscribe. Thanks.